What's good everybody? Lots has been going on towards the end of 2017. Machine came out with a update 2.7 that includes the audio plugin, which is something that us beat makers have been asking for for a long time, which includes real time time stretching, which as you know before, you could not uh, time stretch samples on the fly, which with this audio plugin you can now. It auto detects the sample that you load in and syncs it with the tempo that you're currently using. You can change the pitch and it'll stretch the sample uh, to match the tempo that you're currently working in. So it's it's an awesome update. Uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to dig into it. So I'll kind of explain the ins and outs of that once I get a little bit more time to play with it. In the meantime, Native Instruments has released a video kind of showing the ins and outs of that. Boris from uh, Native Instruments does an excellent job of explaining how to time stretch samples using the audio plugin. So enough talking, let's get to beat making. Let's go. All right, so I got a sample loaded up. Uh, these are Stash Loops Volume 1. It's from uh, Black Kits. Uh, I got a long time ago, but I actually never dug into it. So found a sample. And what I like to do is um, there's a lot of people that like to sample and machine and they will cut down a sample and then truncate it. Well, what that does is it, it creates a new file for that sample and the more you truncate it, just, it just creates more and more files. Uh, so in order to avoid that, I just like to, uh, if I want to use the same sample in uh, multiple pads, I'll just change the start stop point and machine and have it play whatever sound I want it to play so it doesn't create more files. Save space and it's not that much harder to make changes that way so that's just something I like to do. find something to go along with that loop. So you need to find the key that it's in. So I like that progression. Um, but I need to change, I'm gonna change the sound and still keep that progression. find like a lead to go along with it and then uh, some a vocal chop like exhale or something yeah you know, sound dope <laughs>
so I kind of got a couple different patterns and what I can use machine jam for is cycling through and kind of see which ones fit where and then I can arrange the track uh, using uh, the ideas mode and using the machine jam to lay everything out. Uh, turn certain patterns on, turn certain patterns off and you can kind of get an idea of what sounds good together as you arrange the, the track. What we're going to do is start playing things out and start arranging the scene. So what I'll do is I'll just hit play. I want the sample to play first. So I'll start there in scene one. Scene two, I'll have that. And one with no hi-hats. Bass come in. I'll do the same thing for scene four. scenes laid out and then I'll go over to the arrangement mode and then I can put the scenes together here. Obviously this isn't completely arranged but this gives me a, an idea of how I want it laid out before I bounce it out into Pro Tools or you know whatever DAW that you use. Uh, but this is the track so here we go. 